In this short video, I'm going to show you how to add Telegram chat to Squarespace. Unfortunately, since this functionality is not available through Squarespace itself, we are going to have to use a third party platform. Don't worry though, it's completely free and also very easy to set up. The first thing I want you to do is to go ahead and click the first link in the description of this video, which will take you to the Elf site platform. Once you click on the link, this is the page that you're going to land on. From here, go to the navigation menu, which is where you'll see this widget button. Simply hover over it. And then on your right hand side here, you will see chats. From here, go all the way down until we find Telegram chat, which is right here. Click on that. And then that's going to take you to the Telegram chat widgets page. From here, click on create widget for free. And then that's going to take you to the template section, which is where you can choose from a number of different templates uh, for your Telegram chat. As you can see on the right hand side here, you get a little preview of what it's going to look like on your Squarespace website. Now, bear in mind that the contents and the design are not final. You can change pretty much anything to do with these buttons anyway, regardless of which uh, template you go for. In my case, I want to go for a standard general chat right here. Then once you've selected your template, go ahead and click continue with this template in the bottom left corner of the screen right here. And then we need to add a Telegram username or link. That way the widget is going to know where it needs to send the messages to once somebody types a message into the widget. For this example, I'm just going to use the example that Squarespace have given here. And once you've done that, it will automatically update here. On the left hand side, you will see content, settings and appearance. Here you can change pretty much anything to do with the widget itself. So if you don't like the colors, go ahead and change them. If you don't like the settings, go ahead and change them. So for example, the position here, um, if you don't want it to be on the right hand side here, and if as a floating bubble, you can choose the embed bubble option. In my case, I like it. What I could change is make the vertical offset a little bit higher just to bring the widget a little bit higher, just like this, you can see. Once I move this, it moves in real time. So go ahead and adjust this to your liking. And then once you're happy with the way your widget looks, go ahead and click on add to website for free. And then in a couple of seconds, your widget will be created. Then you'll be taken to this page right here, which is where you can see what your final widget is gonna look like on your Squarespace website. Before you take it to this page though, you'll be asked to sign in into the Elfsight platform. So here you can either create an account through the platform itself, or you can use your Google account to log in, which is what I've done because it's much easier and quicker. Then in the top right corner of the screen, you will see a green publish button. Click on that, and then that's gonna take you to the plans page. Here, we need to select the plan. Now, since this is the first widget we are creating with the Lsite platform, we can go for the free plan right here because it supports one widget. However, in the future, if you want to uh, take advantage of multiple widgets or you want to unlock more functionalities, you will have to go for one of the premium plans right here. But for now, we're gonna go for the free plan right here. Click on select where it says current plan for me, and then that's gonna take you to the page, which is where you can copy the code for the widget that you just created. The page will look just like this. From here, click on copy code and head over back to your Squarespace website. Once you're on your Squarespace website, go ahead and click on edit in the top left corner of the screen, and that's gonna take you to your Squarespace editor. From here, you need to decide where you want your Telegram chat to be positioned. In my case, that's already predetermined in the bottom right corner of the screen. However, if you have chosen the embed option, that means they can pretty much decide where you want the chat to be positioned. Regardless of what you choose, go ahead and click on add block in the top left corner of any section, and then click on code right here. Then that is going to add a code block to your Squarespace website. So what I have to do now is go ahead and click on this pencil icon to edit. Make sure that the mode is set to HTML and make sure that you delete this first line of text here and replace it with the code that we just copied before. And then as you can see, here it is. Ignore this message here. This is just for the editor. Since my positioning is already predetermined, I don't need to do anything else. But in your case, you might need to resize it. You might need to position it accordingly. So keep that in mind. From here, go ahead and click on save and then click on exit. And let's go ahead and preview the website and see what the widget looks like. As you can see here is the little bubble. Once I click on it, that's gonna open up the Telegram chat and then people can start chatting with me. And yeah, that's pretty much it. That's how to add Telegram chat to Squarespace. If you have any questions, please let me know down in the comments below and I'll do my best to help you out.